Hi, welcome back. Miss Flower's back, and I am going to continue our book reading of The Dragon Masters by Tracy West. We're going to begin with chapter four today. Worm. Drake peered inside the dark cave. A dragon sat inside. Well, this creature kind of looks like a dragon, Drake thought. The dragon had brown scales that weren't shiny. He had two tiny wings, and he had big green eyes and little ears, and he didn't have legs. He looked like a big snake. The only dragon-like thing about him seemed to be his long snout. Drake stepped up to the wood bars. Hi, dragon. I'm Drake. The dragon didn't move. Put on the stone, Griffith said. The dra Drake slipped the green stone around his neck, and he felt a tingly feeling all over his body. Right away, the dragon lifted his head. He stared at Drake with his big green eyes. Drake felt a strange chill. Griffith stepped forward. You must name your dragon, he said. Rory piped up. Good luck naming him. He looks boring. How about Noodlehead, Anna asked with a giggle. Bo shook his head. No, this dragon needs a good name. Drake looked carefully at the dragon. He looked at his long brown body. Worm, he said. His name is Worm. That is a good name for an earth dragon, said Griffith, opening the gate. Now Drake... Ask Worm to follow you. Okay, Drake said. Worm, please follow me. Worm crawled forward. Good work, said the wizard. Keep it up, Drake. Come on, Drake said, starting to walk down the hallway. Worm crawled after him. He really is a big, ugly worm, Rory said. Rory, be nice, said Anna. Drake didn't say anything. Worm was like a big worm. Where are we going, he asked. To the training room, Griffith replied. Yes, yeah, said Rory. We'll see what you and your dragons are made of. Drake felt nervous. He touched his dragon stone. How am I supposed to train a dragon, he thought. What if I fail? What if I'm not a dragon master after all? Chapter 5 Do something. The training room was one big open space. Shields and long poles hung from the walls. Buckets held water and sand, and at one end of the room was a round target. Straw stuffing poked out from the sides. Griffith pointed at the target. Sparks flew from his finger, and a red bullseye showed up on the target. It's time for target practice, the wizard said. Me first, me first, Rory called out. Vulcan, come, come now. The red dragon stomped forward. Vulcan, fire, Rory yelled. The dragon's orange eyes glowed. Then two streams of fire shot from his nose. The streams twisted together and the fire hit the bullseye. Perfect, 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 Rory cheered. Then the straw burst into flames and Drake jumped back. Good aim, said Griffith. Bo, can you help put the fire out? Yeah, sure can, said Bo. He looked at his dragon. Shoo, he said simply. He didn't yell like Rory. Shoo swiftly crossed the room. Did her feet even touch the ground, wondered Drake. Water, please, Shoo, Bo said. A stream of water sprayed out of the blue dragon's mouth. The fire sizzled and water droplets danced in the air lit up by the torches. Kepri, rainbow time, Anna cried. Kepri glided across the room, and Drake thought her white scales looked like jewels. A soft beam of light came out of Kepri's mouth. It grew wider and wider, and when it hit the water droplets, it made a beautiful rainbow. Wow, Drake said. Isn't she amazing, asked Bo. Anna smiled. Rory put her hands on her hips. Now let's see what Worm can do, she said. 
Drake felt nervous. He looked at Worm. Um, Worm, are you ready? Drake asked. Worm just stared back at him. I guess that means yes, thought Drake. Okay, Worm, fire! Drake jumped back in case the fire came out of Drake out of Worm's mouth. But Worm just lay there. Not all dragons can shoot fire, said Bo. Drake nodded. Right, 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 right. Okay, okay, Worm. Water, water. But Worm didn't shoot water either. Ha! Rory laughed. I knew it. Worm can't do anything. Drake's cheeks grew hot with anger. He's just warming up. He's just warming up. Come on, Worm. Shoot light out of your mouth or something. Still nothing. You call that a dragon, Rory said. Please, Worm, Drake whispered into his ear. Please do something. Worm just blinked. Do not worry, Drake. Getting to know your dragon takes time, Griffith said. Target practice is over for today, so let's go eat. Bo grabbed Drake's elbow. I hope you're hungry, Drake. The dragon masters get as much food as we want, said Bo. Drake was hungry, so this news made him feel a little better. But he had failed the training. How can I be a dragon master if my dragon won't do anything I ask it to, he thought. I'm only an onion farmer. I really don't think I belong here. Chapter 6. A New Friend there was so much food on the dining room table. Roast chicken, potatoes, carrots, bread, cheese. It was more like, oh my goodness, it was a feast. And it was more food than Drake had ever seen in his whole life. Pass the potatoes, please, Drake said. Griffith pointed to the plate of potatoes and sparks flew from his fingers. As the plate floated over to Drake, he forgot all about wanting to go home. He stabbed a potato with his fork. Is every supper like this? asked Drake. Bo nodded. Yep, there is always a great deal of good food, he said. But sometimes I miss my mother's soup. Is your home kingdom far away? Drake asked. Very far, said Bo. I come from the east, the kingdom of Emperor Song. And I come from the south, added, added Anna. It is warm there, not cold and damp like it is here. Well, I am proud to be from this kingdom, Rory said. My father is a blacksmith, and he makes the best horseshoes in our whole village. Drake missed home. He turned to Griffith. Is there a way I can let my family know that I'm okay? The wizard nodded. You may send them a note. He waved to one of the servants, Please bring this boy a paper and quill. The servant gave Drake paper, a small pot of ink, and a feather. Drake's cheeks turned really red. Uh, what? 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 Rory asked. Haven't you seen paper before? Drake looked down at his plate. I worked in the fields at home, he said. I never went to school. I know how to read, but I never had the chance to learn to write because I didn't have paper or quills. Rory st started to say something, but Griffith gave her a hard look. Bo picked up the quill. I will write the note for you, he said. Thanks, Drake said. Then he told Bo what to write. Dear Mother, I am safe, so please do not worry. Everything is new and exciting, and the king is keeping me well fed. My new friend, Bo, helped me to write this letter. Love, Drake. Drake did not say anything about dragons. He thought that might scare his mother. The servant took the note away, and Drake yawned. Uh, uh so, uh, where do we sleep? We have rooms in the tower, Bo said. You will be in my room. Drake smiled. Good, at least he had one new friend here. 
Suddenly, a soldier stomped into the room. All rise for King Roland the Bold, he said. Wow, those chapters were pretty interesting too, weren't they? Well, I will see you tomorrow for some more reading. Until then, see you later.